and my dog just came out. <laughs> so let me get my dog in the house. <laughs> yeah, so. What the hell? Now Amazon's about to pull up? We can't even get started on the first freaking episode. <laughs> my gloves. Speaking of which. Look what they came to deliver. Oh, Manny. It actually was Amazon. <laughs> Let's see what we got in the package, y'all. Now, this is an unboxing video. <gasps> what do we have here? Wow. <laughs> Perfect timing. Puerto Rican boxing gloves. <laughs> What's up, my people? Welcome to this new channel that we are creating. The full 12, which we're going to be sitting here just discussing a little bit of boxing. Yeah, so obviously this is our first video. We're going to um, discuss some upcoming fights this weekend. So first we're going to talk about the Pacquiao versus Thurman. Pacquiao versus Thurman. What a big fight. And if you haven't been watching boxing, man, you don't know what you've been missing. I hear a lot of people say, oh, boxing ain't the same. Boxing be cheating. Come on, man. You know what? Yeah, you get those fights where the decision is pretty... Uh, Questionable. It's, it's big time questionable. And yeah, you do get that. And we definitely don't like those situations. But overall, boxing is still, it's still what it is, man. It's, you know, you've got a lot of talent out there and people are just don't understand. They don't, they don't know what they're missing. Right. Heavyweight, yeah, heavyweight division's definitely not the same. Because Mike Tyson and we ain't got the Holyfields and stuff anymore. But we got the welterweights and we have the super right. middleweights. We have featherweight. And we have light featherweight. Light featherweight. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of upcoming fighters that um, aren't noticed that are great fighters that we've been, um, you know, looking at for a while. Uh, we're going to talk about one uh, today, Teofimo Lopez, but we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. Who you got? <laughs> Pacquiao or Thurman? Oh, well, Pacquiao and Thurman, man. Hey. For Pacquiao to be still out there trying to fight the elite boxers is something amazing, you know. That man, you know, he's up there in age in boxing. Forty. Know, sports wise, age wise, yeah, exactly. you know, he's not an old man, but sports wise, you know, you get to a certain age and it's just you just can't do it anymore. So I would have to say with the Manny Pacquiao versus Keith Thurman, we should be in for a treat. For sure, um, they're definitely both not fighters who. Uh, just like to walk around the ring. They're both pretty active fighters. So um, that's definitely going to be a good show. <laughs> yeah. um, they're 10 years in difference in age. So, 10 years apart. That's, so that's that can good. definitely take a toll um, on the decision. Do you think there's going to be a knockout? I find it hard to see that Manny Pacquiao or Keith Thurman is going to get knocked out. Yeah. I think it's going to be a busy fight. Mm -hmm. I think, um, you know, Pacquiao, he doesn't have the power that he used to have. You know, how could you, how could you still have the same kind of power when you're, you know, towards the end of your career? But yeah, I'm thinking that it's going to be a busy fight. You know, I think Pacquiao can get hurt in the fight at some time, but I don't think he's going to be knocked out. Yeah. Um, I don't really think it's going to be a stopped fight fight you know a, a fight that's gonna be stopped because of you know him being knocked down we've been hearing a lot of talk you know with Thurman and uh on the press conferences saying that he's gonna put Pacquiao on retirement oh man we want to see this man we'll see what this man can do but is he is he able to do it uh, hey you never know I think he can but I think Pacquiao is elusive enough to, to stay away from his big punches just enough um in this fight though I'm gonna have to go with Obviously, he's going to have to, you know, from what I've been saying earlier, he's going to have to go with Keith Thurman in this one. I, I think he's just too young and just too much at the at the top of his game right now to, to lose this fight. Personally, I'm going for Pacquiao. Um, I, I think it's going to go the full 12. <laughs> the full 12. Uh, the full 12 rounds. Um, and it's going to go to decision. So, I'm going Pacquiao. I do think it's going to be a tough fight, though, for sure. Because, you know, like we said, they're both pretty active um, and, you know, powerful, too. You going for Pacquiao? Yeah, I'm going Pacquiao. And do you think Pacquiao can win the fight, though? See... Does he have enough punching power? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. I definitely think he has the power to, you know, do some damage. But, I don't know, it's just one of those fights where you're going to have to see, because... 
there's like Pacquiao has gotten knocked down by like nobody before, and he's lost to like you know people that you wouldn't even think are capable of beating him. So with him, it's all just. <laughs> well, he lost you know on the cards to Horn, which a lot of people didn't think he lost that fight. I thought he won that fight. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah. I don't know what them judges saw in that fight. Um, for somebody that has been the champion for a while and to let a close fight go the opposite way, which I thought Pacquiao won more rounds than mm. Horn in that fight. Did they challenge that fight? No. Um, I, yeah, I think they did uh, Jeff Horn? challenge the outcome of that fight, and they still went with Horn, I think. But hey, look what happened to Horn in that next fight. He got his butt kicked by <laughs> the great Terrence Crawford. Oh, that's an awesome fighter. He put him in his place. Yeah, for sure. That was a couple years ago, 2017, yeah. No, I give it up for Joe Horn. Hey, the guy went from a Pacquiao to a, to a Terrence Crawford, you know. That's that's pretty cool, you know. Yeah, you don't get a lot of fighters fight. that do that type of stuff. You'll get a fighter at a fight, one big fight, and then they'll go through two more fights w with guys that you never even heard of. Yeah, exactly. But he was he was on the top ten for a little while, wasn't he? Who? Jeff Horn. I think he was ranked. But yeah, I don't, he's, uh, he not, he's been definitely ranked. not ranked anymore because, like we said before, welterweight is that's a stacked division. Yeah, but yeah, so that's what we have to say about the Pacquiao and Thurman um, ordeal. So I'm telling y'all, watch that fight. Not only is that Pacquiao and, and Thurman Thurman gonna be getting it on, you know, the main event, but you also have undercards that are really good on this on this on this uh, fight on this fight event. You know, it's just not all, you know, go barbecue for five hours and then come back and wait for that last fight. No, no. don't do that. Please don't oh, do that. Our biggest thing is watch all the undercard fighters because you, you never know who's going to be upcoming. Right. Most likely you're going to see a good fight in undercard fights. We, so we've witnessed too many. Yeah. You know, I've been I was, you know. When I first started bo watching boxing, I was one of those people that, hey, I'm not going to watch any other fight, but the one that's the main event. And boy, was that a mistake, because uh, now missed. that I've really watched the whole card, you get some good fights that that are, some most cases, better than the main event. Yeah, that's so, very true. hey, I just got to say, if you guys are out there ready to watch this fight or future fights, make sure you pay attention to the undercards, you know? Maybe do a little homework um, For before sure. the fight comes on and see who's going to be fighting, and maybe you're worth your time. Yeah, because that's how, you, that's how we found out about a a lot of upcoming fighters. Like oh, absolutely. This next one that we're going to talk about, Teofimo Lopez. There we go, there we go. Them two guys are going to be getting it on next week on Friday. Um, what's that date? Friday um, the 19th. Friday the 19th. July 19th. Not Friday the 13th. Don't be trying to look for Jason, <laughs> you know, Friday the... I already know how y'all get down. I'm talking <laughs> about Friday the 19th, man. Friday the 19th. Teofimo Lopez is starring on, I think it's ESPN, though, or ESPN+. Plus. Um, if you have a uh, smart TV or a Fire Stick or even an Xbox, you know you can yeah. get the ESPN Plus on that. I know it's a pain of pain of pain of pain in the butt, <laughs> you know, because when I, I didn't understand what ESPN Plus was at first, I was like, yeah. how the heck do I watch the fight? Do I gotta watch it on my freaking phone? Yeah. I don't want to watch a damn fight on my goddamn phone unless unless I, I'm on the road, which you shouldn't be doing anyway, um, <laughs> or at work, yeah. you know. But if I'm at home. I want to watch it on my TV, but hey, yeah, boy, was I wrong. Awesome. Yes, you can watch the, the ESPN Plus or The Zone on no. your TV. Just download um, the app. Yeah, especially if you have a smart TV or a Fire Stick. I know a lot of people have Fire Stick, so if you have an Amazon Fire Stick, you can definitely um, download ESPN and The Zone. Um, but yeah, it's going to be on ESPN Plus. Uh, Teofimo Lopez is a great fighter right now. And, um, That's a bad the, kid, man. What is it, featherweight? Yeah. Oh, lightweight, lightweight. Oh, is he lightweight? Oh, wow, okay, okay, so... I 135, I... oh, same as um, Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia, that's right, and Lomachenko. Oh. You know, you got those guys in there also. Um, you got, um, it's a good division. Um, yeah, right here. Oh, yeah, Jose Pedraza. Oh yeah. oh, yeah, that is Devin Henney, too. Yeah, Devin Henney is in there. Another young guy that's really, Great. really good fighter, you know. He's been making his way up the uh, top ten, too, in the lightweight division. Um, he's been fighting a lot. But, um, 
Yeah. Um. I mean, I mean, look at this division. I mean, go. Let's let's see. Let's see what we got. It. I'll, I mean, I'll put it in right here. I mean, come on. We got Vasily Lomachenko. You know, he's ranked number one on, off ESPN website in the division. This is lightweight. Oh, 135 100? pounds. Yeah. You know, Richard Comey. and you got yeah, you got Richard Comey that's in it that, that had a great fight with 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 Beltron, um, you know, week two weeks ago, and, and they really really put on a good show. Yeah, that was a great fight on ESPN, man. I mean, you got to give it up to both of those guys. Um, that fight was awesome. I enjoyed it. I loved it. I, I went for Beltron, but he did not pull it out. But hey, we saw he, great. He, he did he did his fight. best. You know, that's all you ask from these guys is. Get in there and, and try to win the fight. You know, mm -hmm. don't get in there and just go in there for a paycheck and then get knocked out, and that's it. But, yeah, so Teofimo Lopez, we've been watching him for a little while. Um, great record. He's 13-0 with 11 knockouts. Um, he's up and coming. Um, he's been staying busy trying to get his name out there. He had a lot of fights in 2017. He's, uh, he's getting busy with uh, fighting, you know, tougher opponents. Um, but, hey, he's only, what, what's his record there? Uh, 13 yeah, he's only 13 and 0. So what do you, what do you expect? You know, you don't want a guy, you know, that's that young, you know, what is he, 20 years old? 21, yeah. He's 21 years old. So you don't want this guy to get or hey, you know, you got you know how we we always want the best to fight the best, but hey, you know, this is a business and and he has to work his what his way up. Yeah, and get and that experience. Get as that well. experience which he is doing. You, we don't want to just hurry up and throw him in the ring with with a uh, with a um, Lomachenko, or, or yeah, Lomachenko Mikey Garcia. or Mikey Garcia, you know, guys have got that experience, you know, yeah, exactly. got, have been in big fights, and you know, he's just not there yet, business wise, I think, and he's not there yet, experience um, experience wise. wise. But the fights are getting, the fighters that he's fighting are getting better, which yeah. I like. You know, basically just saying that, hey, look at my skill set. I, I think I am ready to fight these. Guys that are holding these belts, but yeah, he is fighting on Friday against an undefeated Japanese fighter. I think it is. Yeah. Run that name again. Uh, Masayoshi Nakatani. Never heard of him, but <laughs> it shows here that he's eighteen. Eighteen and zero. Great. As a professional, I'm not sure where he fought those fights. If they were mostly in, in Japan, yeah. Okay, so. So this is gonna be his first fight in America. Oh man, so he 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 might be in some trouble. You know, to be out to another country and. Fighting in a big spotlight against a guy that's good, you know. He, he like might Anthony be a... Joshua. Oh yeah, yeah. You we see know what happened to Anthony Joshua <laughs> when he came to America. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. But hey, you never know. That's what yeah. boxing's all about. We we like the surprises. We like the uh, upsets. Yeah. Who doesn't like an upset? We all like upsets. The unexpected. Yeah. Expect the unexpected, especially in boxing. You gotta love it. That's what that's what the, that's what we enjoy. You know, everybody loves an underdog. Exactly. But. Nakatini, yeah, you in trouble. <laughs> it's gonna be he, he might do a Fortnite move on you in that ring because you know you know how yeah. Lopez get down. Yeah. Know. So yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, Teofimo Lopez, great um, fighter. He's definitely um, becoming known because of his dance moves and um, his ring celebration. Antics. His, his ring antics. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Out there with that, man. He's like, it's like scoring a touchdown with this guy. Yeah, exactly. You know, you know, you know, you got a guy in the NFL, you know, he gets a touchdown and you start doing some, yeah, he do something like that. Dance. But this dude, he knock you out and, and he might throw a backflip on your ass. You be like, what the hell is that? You might yeah. have to run that on the top 10 <laughs> plays of ESPN. That's how you get, that's how you get known. So he yeah. knows what he's doing, you know. He's, yeah, he's definitely getting his name out there. He's talked uh, about why sure. he does it. And he's, he said, hey, that's a way to. Advertise myself, I guess he yeah, said. Exactly. So, smart kid. But we are big fans of this guy. You know, hey, guys, YouTube, Teofimo Lopez highlights, and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. I've said Teofimo Lopez has one of the most all-around skill set that I've ever seen in a boxer at that age right. that he is now. Yeah, exactly. In my little experience, you know, I'm not that old, so, you know, other guys are probably like, no, <laughs> this guy was, you should have seen this guy. Like, probably. But in my eyes and in my experience with watching, you know, boxing, hey, Lopez, when it comes to defense, footwork, speed, power. Yeah, exactly. I've never seen a guy that had all these skills all in one package yeah. at the age that he's at now already. He has a very technical style, too, so... Um, he can hit you from all angles. Yeah, exactly. He knows what he's doing. And don't get hit with that uppercut. <laughs> yes. He will that's... slip that uppercut on your ass. You'd be right. like, what the hell? That's... that. Uh -uh. Yeah, his... Any fighter that 
he's gonna fight, they need to watch out for that uppercut because that is what will get you knocked out. He be what? What do you say? He be um, folding him. Oh, oh, he, he fold you like a folder, man. <laughs> you know. Yeah. For all you um, go, all you people in the, you know that's out there that's in y'all thirties, young. You know, y'all used to say that back then. He folded your ass. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. unfolded a few guys, and I mean, they, them guys is knocked out before they even hit the canvas. They're knocked out, folding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They folded, <laughs> knocked out. Yeah. Um, but this fight that we had just watched um, yesterday, Shakur Stevenson. Yes, um, we did. He's another. We, we watched a fight yesterday. He's Shakur another young. Shakur Stevens. What's that record? Shakur, Shakur Stevens. Stevens. Is, he was fighting at a featherweight yesterday, um, but unfortunately, the, the gentleman that he fought did, did not really put much of a fight, no, man. No, he really didn't. Um, um, and, and, and also, it looks like from what I read that he picked up the fight like eight days ago, before the day that he fought. Yeah, uh, yeah, because there was um, two other fighters that had um, let... Uh, they dropped the fight. For, Why did they drop the fight? Uh, they don't know. Um, all the articles that I read said it was unspecified. Yeah, unspecified. Um, they probably <laughs> seen his damn highlights. and was like, hell no. You <laughs> yeah. didn't kick my ass like that on ESPN. Uh -uh. Yeah, uh, but he's 12-0 and 0 now. 12-0 and 0 and this kid got the, oh, got the, seven he got the skills to pay the bills, man. Yeah. That, that guy, he's... And then it's funny is because when you see him in the ring, he looks like a kid. No, yeah, for sure. He looks like a young boy in there. Yeah. A young boy that's knocking people out that are grown men. Yeah, um, I bring him up because his style is very similar to Teofimo Lopez. Yes, um, they're actually rivals, but yeah. you know, friendly rival. I guess they used to spar together, um, so they're very, they're very known to each other. So, but they're they, around they, the same age. They're around the same age. They probably trained in the same gym. They might have sparred um, against each other. From I think I heard something about that, but their um, style is very similar. They're both very technical fighters. Um, they're not very, you know, wild or street fighters. Like, they know what they're doing. Oh, skills, man. Yeah. They got skills, that footwork, man. When you see a guy in there that can move around, like, oh, you know when you see a boxer, man. These guys have it. I think when you're watching a fight and the fighter doesn't only, ha like, doesn't only have great offense, but he has great defense as well, that's just, like, something unbeatable. You can't, you know, there's nothing like it. Um, so these two fighters are, you know, some of those fighters that just have it all. And yeah, especially because they they're so young. So they just need that experience so that they can, you know, get up on the charts. And, yeah, 12 um, and 0, I mean, come on, what's the rush? You know, yeah, get, exactly. get your money on, you know, get your fights in, get your exposure. Then land big fights, you know, when you're, you know, 19, 20, 21 year old, 21 and 0. Yeah. That's my opinion. I think, you know, those big fights shouldn't come until you're about... 18 and 0 or 21 and 0 or you know you know don't it don't have to be you know no losses but you know you got to have at least 19 20 fights before you start getting into those bigger competitors that have more experience than you but you got to give it time you know the youngsters got to give it time so jumping back to the Thurman and Pacquiao fight there's a lot of Great fights on the undercard. Watch those undercards, y'all. I'm telling you. Um, yeah, because this is one that you're definitely not going to want to miss. Um, oh, there's a WBC welterweight eliminator. Which is, I like that. They make these guys fight each. It's like a roundabout. You yeah. know, you got these fighters that are in the same division, and, and what they're doing is making these guys do like a, a roundabout. Like, you have to fight. Like a, like to, a, uh, to, to retain the title, like a tournament, it's like, like a how they fight each other, and then if you lose, and you fight, or yeah. if you win, you fight somebody else. That's awesome. Um, to st you know, to stay in the division. You gotta like that. Um. So yeah, there's a title fight, also on the undercard, um, of the Pacquiao and Thurman fight, um, the IBF super middleweight title, uh, super Caleb middleweight. Plant and Mike Lee. Oh yeah, Caleb Plant. He's a good fighter. He, I think he's like ranked two off ESPN. And I'm not sure where Mike Lee is, but I know Plant. Um, he's he hasn't he has no losses, um, and he's actually chasing uh, Caleb Smith. You know, because mm. they're in the same division. Yeah, Caleb uh, Smith uh, is number Smith. one, and Caleb Plant's number two. There you go, and you also got Anthony Durrell. Anthony Durrell, good fighter. Number three, yeah. Good fighter. Oh yeah, and he's gonna. Oh yeah, he's gonna be fighting um, David Benavidez. Benavidez. Yeah. Don't miss that fight, y'all. Yeah. See, now they're making these guys that are in the top rank fight each other. We're not making them, but they're making these fights happen. Yeah, because you know? um, when there's fighters that are great fighters, but they're only fighting, you know, nobodies or people who aren't even ranked, 
I mean, it doesn't really show their full, you know, um, abilities and, you know, fighting. Like, <laughs> oh. Javante Davis. <laughs> oh, come on. Javante, Javante Davis, man. That guy, he's got good great, skills. Great fighter. I like everything about him. But I just, I just hope that the competition that he brings in is a little bit more than what he's been fighting. You know, I'm not digging yeah. the competition. You know, he's, he's already had 24, 25 fights. And I've maybe heard of maybe two guys that he fought. Yeah. It's like, come on, dude. Hey, you're up there. You got the you got the fights in. You got the experience in. Now, can I see you fight Lemachenko or, or, yeah. or <laughs> can I see you fight uh, Mike Mikey Garcia sure or you know Robert Easter? I mean, come on. Can we get one of those guys to fight you? He's, oh, junior lightweight. Oh, yeah, yeah, junior lightweight. Okay, one thirty. So, so he's a little bit. He's number three. Uh, Okay, so he's number three in a division, and I don't think he's had fought. I don't think he's fought not one guy in the division that's ranked top ten. No, yeah, I don't think so. Come on, dude. And, we I, can and fast then his check next, that right and now, his though. next fight that he's about to have. July twenty seventh. Never heard of the guy. Yeah. <laughs> you know um, what I'm saying? Who is it? Ricardo Nunez. Ricardo. Mm -mm. I don't know yeah. that guy. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna see uh, another. Uh, Gervonta Davis, knockout. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the reason his record is so high. So, what, what was his, what's his other guy, what's the other guy's record? Who? The guy he's fighting? Yes. Um, so, Gervonta Davis is 21-0 and 0 with 20 knockouts. Good, good record. And, dude, he's fighting is 21-2 and 2 with 19 knockouts. Where's, so. where's he out of, who's he fought? Has he fought anybody? Um, anybody that stands out on the list there? Okay, well, Most hey. of them have been in Panama, so. Oh, so he's fighting. Oh, so this is his first fight in um, America. Oh, man. You got to stop fighting those type of guys, man. Yeah. Hey, all right. Um, you know what? If he puts up a fight, then hey. But if, if Gravante goes up in there and knocks the dude out in the first 20 seconds or first, I'm not <laughs> legitimately saying that this, you know, he's, he's, he's going to be the one that, that, to beat Lomachenko or anything because, like, dude, come on, man. Yeah. You know, it was fun. To watch those couple of fights where he knocks him out in the first round, but we would need some competitive fights. Man. <laughs> yeah, um, you know I should. Yeah, I really hope for him because he, you know, he has potential to, you know, start fighting these ranked fighters, but just well, hasn't gotten there yet. Well, you have to see it, y'all. So you guys, let us know. Hey, give us a comment. Let us know what y'all think. Yeah, I don't um, think again <laughs> we're not experts. Oh we yeah, we are not. We didn't introduce ourselves either. Oh, man, we did forget. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Eric, y'all. I'm Eric, the coolest guy on the planet. The coolest guy on the planet. If you was to meet me, you'd probably want me to be your best friend. Um, I'm that yeah. cool. I can attest to that. Um, <laughs> I'm Eliana. Um, we watch boxing, y'all. Hey, we watch a lot of boxing, so we're just giving you opinions. We're just trying to put it out there. We're just trying to talk about it. You know, put some comments down. You know, let us know what's up. Let us know some fighters that you know that we don't know about. Yeah, exactly. We want to, you know, we, we love boxing, dude. We like, we like to see these guys get it on, you know? Yeah, um, so I had made a video on my channel about starting this, um, about starting this channel up and everything. But basically, we just want to, you know, obviously, we're not professional commentators not or journalists. Close, mm -mm. Uh, we're literally in our garage. <laughs> Pretty much. So, you know, we know we're, you know, these are just our opinions. Um, we're not, you know, we're not trying to, you convince know. anybody of anything. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just, just trying. We're, we're just, just talking just, about boxing. That's yeah. all. So, you guys out there, if you have any negative comments, <laughs> you know, just Hold about it. the whole situation that we're doing here, then don't even bother, man. We're yeah. just, we're just trying to have a little fun, try to reach out to the people, and just trying to have conversation. That's all. Yeah. But, again, you guys can definitely leave your opinion on what y'all think about the fight. Or let us know if you guys have got some fighters that you want are going to be getting it on that we don't know about. Yeah. Or even talk about or the guys that we talked about earlier. Hey, you might know these guys that, that are legitimate and we're not even knowing that they're legitimate fighters. So, you let yeah. us know. Yeah. But until next time, y'all, the full 12. We're going to start throwing some uh, videos out there. Hopefully, you guys, you know reach out to us and speak to us and maybe we can keep this thing going yeah because this is something you know we do regularly like every weekend we yeah, have conversations yeah. we watch boxing um we'll probably have a couple uh guest stars on the channel um 
Because, you know, this yeah, is just we what we do. Yeah, some other fellas that we watch boxing with. It's like, we watch so much damn boxing. I, I, I thought I was going to get divorced. I thought, I thought my wife was going to divorce me. I ain't going to lie. She's like, damn, we don't even go, to the, we don't even go out to dinner because all you want to do is watch boxing. I mean, when you have so many good fighters and so many good divisions, I mean, what else can you do? When, you, when you're throwing us a Pacquiao versus Thurman one week, uh, Danny Garcia versus... Mikey uh, Garcia. Mikey Garcia. You know, when you get those... What am I going to know? I got I to gotta watch the fight. I yeah. can't. I'm sorry. Uh, that's just what I do. But, all right, y'all. This is the full 12. I'm Eric. I'm Eliana. <laughs> Hope to see y'all again on another video or talk to y'all. We're, we're, we're checking out, man. We're done. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace.